Good afternoon, students. This is Miss Louise coming from the Reading House. And today I wanted to talk a little bit about this symbol that you see up there. Because without this, we can't really have a great community. And there's so much happening around the world today that we need this. The word that you see is peace. And that uh, little symbol in the middle really stands for peace. I should have did my background knowledge on it, but I know that during the time when I was growing up, if you saw that sign, you knew that it meant peace. And of course, when you hold up your two fingers like that, it means peace. But what does peace mean to you? Today, I wanted to talk and read a book about can you say peace because it's a powerful word and words are powerful because you can speak peace and watch peace happen if you stay calm. We know that peace is being in a calm state, uh, having harmony, getting along with each other, and just a place of tranquility, harmony. And so right now the world is a little shaken up and we're not in that peaceful state. But I just wanted to read a book that tells you what peace sounds like in different languages. And maybe you can just say the word, speak the word in your home, in your neighborhood, and watch what happens. So here we go. The title of our book today is Can You Say Peace? And you see all of these beautiful faces on here representing different nationalities or different cultures. Now the book is going to um, also, they, they're show, holding up a little plant because a lot of times the olive leaf stood for peace. So let's see. The olive branch and the dove, which is the bird here, usually stands for peace. And the author is Karen Catch. Now, in September, they always have a day of peace, but I felt like we need a day of peace every day. So this book is going to talk about that day of peace, but we can make peace happen every day. Okay. You see all the little children. All right. So today is peace day all around the world. Children everywhere will wish for peace, hope for peace, and ask for peace. And that's what I want you to do for the day. I want you to wish for peace hope for peace, and ask for peace. All around the world today, there will be many different ways to say peace. Okay, many different ways. Mina lives in India. Okay, she lives in India. That's on another continent. And Mina says Shanti for peace. So her word for peace is Shanti. Emily lives in America, where we live. Okay? There's Emily. And Emily says peace. So when she wants some tranquility, she'll say peace. Kenji, or Kenja, lives in Japan, okay? And Kenja says, Heiwa, for peace. Heiwa, in Japan. Lynette lives in Australia. <laughs> Look at the koala bears. And Lynette says, Kartuka. Kartuku for peace. Kartuku for peace. Carlos lives in Mexico. And Carlos says, Paz for peace. Paz. Hannah lives in Iran. And she says, Shohom. A shalom for peace. 
Stefan lives in Russia. And Stefan says, Mir for peace. Mir. May lives in China. May says, Hai Ping for peace. Hai Ping. Claire lives in France. And Claire says, Pay for peace. Pay. Sadaki lives in Ghana. And Sadaki says, Gunjiji for peace. Gunjiji for peace. Alona lives in Bol Bolivia. That's in South America. And they have a long word for peace. Alona says, Mokisha Kamania for peace. Mokisha Kamania. For peace. All around the world, children want to go to school. I know you do. To walk in their towns and cities. To play outside. And to share food with their families. They want to do all these things and feel safe. No matter how we say it, we all want peace. Can you say peace? Shanti, Pei, Heiping, Mir, Mojusa Kamana, Kotuku, Solon, Pei's, Haiwi, Peace, Gumjiji. So we said peace in all of those languages. Really, the day of peace is in September. But I feel like today we need to have a day of peace all around the world. The pandemic has hit all around the world. And just people are just unsettled right now. And we need peace. And there are a lot of more ways to say peace. Okay? A lot of more ways. Fred, Shalom, Freddy, Irene, Baki, Frador, Silon, Pese, Pokoja, Sada, Hobene. It's a lot of ways to say peace. So I'm saying peace to you, peace to your families, peace to your minds, just peace to your communities and peace to the nation. Now, please go wash your hands in a peaceful way. And that's our story for today. Reading to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.